Hi, and welcome back to U Balance. It's Rory here in San Francisco, California. Today I'm going to teach you a, a six moves to help you get sweaty using the Swiss ball. I'm not going to take you through an entire workout, but I will take you through each of the movements, and I'm going to show you how to do the movement safely and effectively, and I'll show you even some modifications you can do in case you can't quite do it how I'm able to do it because I practice this all the time. So we're going to start off with a really basic movement that I really love to do and you should incorporate into your life. You can do this on a Swiss ball or you can do this without a ball, but since we're using the Swiss ball, what I like to do is I like to open my chest really wide. Do you see how I have my head and neck comfortable? I'm not hanging off, straining my neck. It's nice and comfortable. My tailbone's down near my heels and I'm even going to push the heel on my palm out like I'm shooting a spider web out of, the, out of the heel of my palm like Spider-Man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm stretching my chest and then I'm gonna flex my butt or squeeze my glutes and push my hips nice and high to the ceiling. So every single one of these workout movements that I'm gonna show you, I recommend that you do 10 to 12 reps, but I'm only gonna show you a few just to kind of give you the gist of what you need to do and then we're gonna move on to the next one. So I'm pushing my chest open, stretching out. You're gonna feel a nice stretch of your medial nerve that runs down through the hands and elbows and wrists, which gets really tight from working at the computer and on our phone all the time. So again, you wanna squeeze your glute muscles in together to push your hips nice and high, and what we're doing is we're activating our glutes, strengthening and shaping our butt, and we're stretching our hip flexors and quads, which also get tight from sitting. So I, again, I would do 10 to 15 reps. Be careful of your low back. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes on that one because sometimes it's easy to have your low back kick in, if, especially if you're coming hot off the desk. Okay, the next movement I'm gonna do is a push-up. Okay, so I'm gonna put my legs on the ball. If you're not familiar with the ball, this is tricky. So I recommend for my mount onto the ball is to get behind it, put your thighs on top of the ball, and walk yourself out. So the first thing you wanna know about doing a push-up on the ball, or any kind of plank for that matter, start with the ball under your hips and it's gonna be a lot easier. Give yourself a few reps, and if that's really easy, you can kind of walk the ball back. And so a moderate way to go is under your knees. You do want to keep your butt and abs nice and flexed, otherwise your hips are going to sag and it's going to hurt your lower back. So keep your butt and core nice and strong, get your chest down, and exhale, push up. Abs and butt are strong, exhale, push up. For those of you that are a little more advanced, maybe more adept at the ball, you can go with your toes on the ball or your tops of your feet on the ball. Keep your body nice and strong, get your chest down, exhale, push up. Again, I'm emphasizing the core and glute engagement because if you're not strong there, especially when you're out on this longer version, your, bag is, your back is gonna sag in on itself and it's gonna make those lower vertebrae hurt. And you don't want that. Okay, now we're gonna take the ball and we're gonna do what I call a step back swing. So I'm gonna hold the ball loosely in my hands like this and I'm just gonna elevate the ball up over my head as I bend my knees behind myself, just like this. So on this one, you can go a few more reps if you wanna go one, two, all the way to 20 could be a good count. Try to use momentum in your swing versus tightening your neck up to your ears. So just as you bend your knees back, swing the ball forward. A slight elbow bend might help take some pressure off the neck and shoulders and just engage your core and exhale as you bend. All right, that's number three. Let's do number four. Number four, now that I'm not focused on my glutes as much, I'm focused on my abs, I wanna push the ball firm into my lower back. So the ball's gonna push right into my low back, giving me a nice supportive hug is what I like to say. I don't wanna hang it out like when I'm working my glutes, I want pressure there. So we're gonna do a three-part crunch set here. Head and neck comfortable, open yourself up. Use your ab muscles, squeeze with an exhale, and then slowly open up. Use these muscles right below the ribs here. Exhale, crunch. So on this round, I wanna get 10 of these. 10 of these crunches like this. Let's do a couple more. You're gonna do 10 like that, and then I'm just gonna stretch my arms out nice and long. And I'm gonna do 10 crunches just like that. So I'm stretched out. Now if this bothers your neck and shoulders, go ahead and support your head with a hand, just like that. Or you can just drop your head back and relax between reps. So we'll do 10 like that. After we do our 10 regular crunches, we're gonna do 10 stretch crunches. And then to finish, we're gonna do 10 reach crunches. So find a dot on the ceiling and try to reach up and touch it. This will warm you up pretty quickly in your midsection. And since we're doing abs and we're on an unstable ball, don't rush through it. It's a little bit warm. You might feel burning in your abs and it might feel a little uncomfortable, but that's good. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to make them stronger, so don't rush through it. Again, on this move, if your neck hurts, support your head with your hand and then slowly crunch up. Okay, we got two more moves and then we'll be done. We're gonna go back into that plank on the ball. Again, the plank on the ball is always easier from the knees. 
and a little bit harder when you go further back. So start with the ball on your knees, keep your core strong. If this is all you can do as a plank, this is good, this is fine, you can stay here. Now if you're able, you can exhale, bring your knees in, and then kick back, and like in the push-up, flex your core and butt so your hips don't sag. Because I've done these a lot, I'm gonna go back and park the ball between my toes and my shin, keep my core strong, exhale in, kick back and flex my abs and butt. Again, we're doing about 10 to 15 reps on these exercises. Whatever you can do without feeling your low back taking over the workout. Exhale in, kick back and flex your core and butt. All right, our last move on the docket. We're gonna do a high knee, a ball press with a high knee run. So I'm gonna get my knees up over my hips and try to coordinate the ball going up and down. If you feel a little silly like that or that's hard to coordinate, you can hold the ball out like this and bring your knees to the ball. So what you wanna do is put those six exercises together and do them back to back pretty quickly with minimal to no rest. I would recommend three to five rounds. Again, 10 to 15 reps per exercise. Make sure your ball is nice and pumped. Make sure you don't have anything in your living room that's close, that's like sharp and pointy like a coffee table or anything you can break because it can be a little tricky at first. But the more you practice it, the easier it becomes. Thanks for checking us out at U-Balance. Be sure to like our Instagram page and like our YouTube page and subscribe. And thanks again. Have a good day.